Leahy from Marty's Garden on YouTube, your favourite place to be about worm farming. Well, today I've got another exciting vlog for you. My worms, well, particularly the night crawlers, they're just going absolutely, lootly, lootly, lootly ballistic. They're getting really big, like we're talking fishing size worms now. And I want to take you outside to the windrows and discuss with you about that. But just before we do, let's have a look inside this worm farm. This is a worm farm rebuild. Whoa. So this is a breed and feed worm farm with specially cured cardboard. And this is the breeding station on the side here. Then we've got the feeding station on the right here. Really interesting system, two levels deep. And you can learn how to do this you want to go to intermediate worm farming in the worm wranglers members area all right let's move out and take a look at the night crawlers What I want to show you here is a few big night crawlers. Now, the smaller ones are at the top, and I went down deep to find these night crawlers. And just have a look at those. Aren't they a beautiful looking worm? Now, you can always tell, I'm pretty sure these are the Africans, and they have a big, long, wispy tail on them. And what I'm finding is, is that these guys are really slow when they come out of the out of the ground but in the ground when you're trying to grab them man they are fast and they hold on tight like, like nothing else now i'm still getting used to using this camera and filming with it and this land system just to give you a really good look at what these worms look like you know I'll try and get in close enough i'll have to have a look at it on the screen later and then work it out a bit better how close I can get and what I can and can't do with this filming. But the night crawler, such a cool worm. I better put these back and then I'll talk a little bit more about them. Tell you what what a beautiful morning it is my friends and those night crawlers are really taking off in that area because what i'm finding from over experience they just love deep profiles i'm finding them down sometimes two and a half even three feet deep right at the bottom of my pile sometimes it's just absolutely nuts and I remember when I first got them, my friend Peter from Wormbiz, he said, Marty, they love being in deep places. And I thought, oh, maybe they won't like being in the small worm farms. But they do. They do hang out in the small worm farms, but you just don't see the big numbers. And I've had like this explosion of them now inside that, oh man, the windrow. I'm telling you, it's just absolutely nuts. And so i'm really stoked actually they cost like a dollar a worm here in australia for a big one like that a big fishing worm because there's hardly any of them around right and not like anyone's going to pay a dollar for one worm you know unless you're absolutely just obsessed with worms like i did i was lucky to get mine in my mix from worm biz but i gotta say being a bigger worm they do go through the tumbler much easier when I'm sifting, so they just fall out through the bucket and not into the sifting material. So that saves me time. Being a bigger worm, they're also chewing through more material. They're easier to see in the system. And I think the bonus would be is they just eat more food because they're bigger. And if they're eating half their weight every day, and I've got hundreds of thousands of them in there, man, they're going to chew through a lot lot of compost over time and they breed really quickly too so 
I really do dig the Nightcrawler. And if you're gonna do something, you may wanna create like the biggest worm farm ever or a big compost pile of the you know, house I'm in and sort of work on a way like that. Now, I'm gonna talk about some systems coming up in the future, building worm farms, uh, outdoor worm farms. So that's gonna be really interesting. But this is the start of it, right? This is cured cardboard in these big barrels, similar to the big worm farms ever. I do find some worms in here from time to time, and I'm teaching you how to cure it inside the worm wranglers members area for small worm farms. It builds up all the biology inside the system, and even fungi gets attached to it. So it's very, very cool. And these big, this big lot here, like this is two thirds, thirds full, is going out into the windrow soon and into small worm farms. Just another way of curing and making a better system. Yep, got to dig the worm farming. Look, if you're loving the show, you're loving the vlogs, that was really part two to our recent vlog. I'm sort of having a bit of a trouble with the vlogging, you know, like sort of running in it and doing it and getting what you want and then producing what I need to go in the worm wranglers members area. It's a bit of a struggle for me, but I'm doing my best that I can to try and make this place profitable as well as, you know, the compost going out, that's already profitable, but inside the Worm Wranglers members area and here inside to you guys for subscribers. Yeah, I'm doing the very best I can. So if you're not subscribed already, maybe you want to join in and become a part of this sort of watching what's going on here. I think it's pretty cool. You're going to learn a lot. And I don't think there's anything else like this on the web. So yeah, subscribe, leave a question down below. And hopefully you'll support me in the Worm Wranglers members area because that's what keeps this place alive at the moment currently and ticking. 25 members as we speak. I think it's about nine in level one and about 11 in level three at the moment. All right, have a great day. Happy gardening. We'll see you at the next video slash vlog real soon. But for now, I'm going to come a long way in. Hookabarra. Finished. Bye for now.